Greetings, this is Dyslexi, and in today's episode of Video Tactics, Techniques, and Procedures, we'll be talking about another basic infantry technique, a variation of the Aussie peelback, which we'll refer to simply as peeling. A peel is a maneuver a small unit, such as a fire team, conducts when it needs to maneuver away from heavy contact while continuously engaging the enemy. The goal of a peel is to sustain suppressive and disruptive fire on the enemy while constantly maneuvering towards a position of cover, concealment, or out of effective range of the enemy. Once back in safety, the team reevaluates the situation and continues with the mission. A peel is conducted when a small unit feels that it's in or has entered a situation where standing and fighting will get them picked off piecemeal, and simply running away will likewise result in heavy casualties. The act of peeling uses heavy volumes of fire to suppress and discourage the enemy, while at the same time rapidly moving team members away from the hostile area under the covering fire of their buddies. A peel is typically initiated by a team leader, but can be initiated by other members of a formation if something catastrophic like a team leader death occurs early on. Initiating a peel is simple. Call out to the team, tell them you're peeling in a given direction, and if necessary, state who should move first. You can add additional information such as how many people peel at once, uh, if nothing is said this is assumed to be a pair per peel, as well as what the destination is. Uh, just keep in mind that this can often be extraneous information or just stating the obvious. As soon as the peel order has been given, all members of the element engage the enemy at a rapid rate of fire, with the intent being to suppress or harass the enemy shooters as much as feasible. Once the direction of appeal has been established, the members furthest away from that direction are the first ones to move, typically two at a time. And as noted, the team leader may or may not state this directly. If not, it's up to the initiative of the far side members to make the first move. The rest of the team fires continuous and heavy suppression towards known or suspected enemy positions, while the first two to peel place down a rapid volley of shots, then run behind the rest of the team while conducting a reload. As they run past the closest covering friendly, they shout, LAST MAN, so the next two people know that they'll be up next. The two peeling members run all the way down the element line and then a bit further, as the situation permits, before they halt and begin providing suppressing fires to cover the next two peeling members. This process repeats itself until some sort of safety is met. Each time a new pair begins to peel off, extra effort must be made to locate and engage or suppress any enemy that starts to shoot at them, as movement understandably tends to draw the most fire. The distance of each peel should be based on the threat severity as well as the terrain. You want to try to put as much space between you and the enemy as quickly as possible, spreading things out to where you don't make a juicy target for them. It's better to be fast and fluid than to try to execute a textbook pretty looking appeal, as that can often lead to slow egress and high degrees of forcible ventilation. Everyone involved should strive to maintain good interval during the appeal, making it that much harder for the enemy to inflict decisive casualties. Remember that starting off in a line formation is not essential. As long as people don't cross lines of fire unnecessarily, appeal can be started from any kind of formation wherever you find yourselves. Coming online helps to simplify the process, but if you're under the kind of contact that often necessitates an appeal response in the first place, you often have to work with what you have. Remember to always keep awareness of your flanks during appeal. The enemy you see and are engaging is probably not the only enemy in the area, and you don't want to inadvertently run into another enemy element on your flank due to being so focused on the known enemy while peeling. While heavy contact often requires only one set of people to be moving at a time to free the rest for the maximum amount of suppression, it's possible to speed the process up by having the next team to peel start their movement just before the previous team is set up. When done with three pairs, as in a six-man fire team, this allows for the middle pair to always be shooting even if the first and last pairs are moving. For this reason, having at least three elements during a peel is very easy to work with and flows well. Note that it is possible to employ smoke grenades for concealment during a peel, but this can be a mixed bag. It's not uncommon for smoke to attract enemy fire that might not otherwise be that accurate, or give away what you're trying to do. It's a risk you have to weigh in any given scenario. If the enemy is particularly close and the team has demolition gear, it's possible to lay down delaying traps like satchels, claymores, or anti-personnel mines. This tends to work the best in close and cluttered terrain when you're peeling more or less directly away from an enemy that's likely to pursue you whereas more open areas or perpendicular peels tend to limit the effectiveness of this tactic. And that's peeling. It's one of the many tools in the infantry toolbox, and so long as everyone's familiar with the basic principles of it, it can easily be employed at a moment's notice. 
I hope this has helped establish a better understanding of how peeling works and how to employ it, and be on the lookout for more infantry related videos coming soon. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters who've helped to make this kind of content possible. This is Dyslexi, and until next time, take care.